work with the the ask. I have a hello. Hello, hello. good evening, teacher. Hi, I'm sorry I had a little problems logging in. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Um, I think you. I'm good, thank you. I'm Thursday, almost the weekend. Yes, almost sir. the weekend. <laughs> Was your day good today? Everything okay? Yes, teacher, everything okay. Good. Let me see. <laughs> Let me open the platform. So yesterday, so yesterday we were doing um, adjectives, correct? Yes. 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 What is an adjective? An adjective is uh, a word that describes a person, an, an object, an animal, etc. Yes, an adjective describes a noun, correct. So yes, an adjective describes a noun. For example, San Miguel, I mean, yes, uh, Moises in that sense, an adjective describes not only a person, it describes anything, uh, a noun, a name. For example, San Miguel is? Worm. Hot. 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 San Salvador is warm. San Miguel is hot. Yes. Hasta I, I think that I think that Usulután is is hotter than San Miguel. People say La Unión is hotter. Okay. Um, I don't know, but it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I have some. Uh, familiares, what is the name? What is the word for familiares? Uh, relatives. relatives. Relatives, thank you. I have some relatives in, in Usulután. In, when I, uh, when I uh, go to, to, to that house, uh, wow, it's, it's really hot there. Yeah, I could imagine. Yes, it must be hot. Okay, I have a question. Um, what is slow? Uh, what? No, look at the chat. Slow. Slow and slowly. Do you see that it's slow and slowly? It's like slow a is it's slow is the is the very the verb, adjective. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but slow is not a verb. It's it's, it's an adjective. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it is a verb too, but it's an adjective. What is slowly? It's a um. Is <laughs> I, I forgot in, <laughs> um, is, in Spanish. It's a level less <laughs> the slow. One level okay. Less. What does slowly slowly describes what? Or can you give me an example with slowly? A uh, snail. A snail what? He it move very very slow. 
slow or slowly? Slowly. Why slowly and why not slow? Because slowly can be a characteristic of, uh, for example, it sees that person that have to work very work slowly with the time. Okay. Um, okay. Another reason. Okay, listen to this. What is an adjective? Remember? Yeah, I have one, one example for, for this. I, okay. I, uh, when you are a beginner driving, you have to drive slowly. Okay, good. Why slowly and not, and why not slow? Because you are uh, haciendo emphasis. Mm, almost, almost, you're almost there. Okay. Okay, listen, what is an adjective? What does an adjective describe? A noun. Good. So slow is an adjective. Slow describes a noun. Slowly is an adverb, and that describes a verb. For example, Neftali said, the snail walks slowly. It's correct because he's describing walk. He is not describing the snail. The action. Yes, he's describing the action. Yes? Yes. What was yes. your example, Moises? Uh, when you are a beginner driving, you have to uh, drive slowly. Good. You are describing the action drive. Okay. You drive slowly. Slow is, is the, um, the person. Okay. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. Women drive terribly. Um, where are my women here? Women power. Is that a thing? No. Uh, no, <laughs> let me give you an example. A turtle. A turtle is slow. Correct? Yes. In El Salvador, people drive Terrible. The terroristic driver in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, but my example the was not correct. People, it's people okay. drive terribly. Terribly. So, un adverbio son todas las cosas que terminan en entamente. Okay. Okay. Terrible, terrible. Terribly, terriblemente. Horrible, horrible, horribly, horriblemente. Always, uh, teacher, always uh, all the words that uh, finish in mente, in this case, terriblemente, are Albert. Yes. Okay. And they describe the verb, not not the person. Okay? Yes, here. Okay. Yeah. So many people, because many people confuse that. Many people always say that. They, um, you know, they say like, oh man, my friend drives terrible. And really it's not correct because the correct way would be terribly. My friend is a terrible driver. Okay, that's different. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Let's do, let me share the screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. All right, good, let's hear it. How are you doing with the intro videos? Remember, you may play them as many times as you need to. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with them. Stonehenge is a mysterious ancient monument, isolated deep in the English countryside. To this day, no one has been able to determine who built Stonehenge or why. The original monument was made up of approximately 153 colossal standing stones, weighing up to 40 tons and arranged in a circular enclosure. People who built Stonehenge must have been doing so for purposes that seemed very, very important to them at the time. It was always a literally monumental undertaking. A lot of the big stones come from Wales, so transporting those for people who didn't have the wheel has to have been an unbelievably difficult uh, undertaking. Stonehenge has been called everything from a Neolithic hospital to an alien landing site, a solar temple, to a druid shrine. The period we're dealing with here is our, our prehistory, and what defines prehistory is that we've got no written records about anything. So everything that we understand about it comes from, from archaeology, from what we can excavate, from what we can analyze. In 2008, hundreds of human bones were excavated at the site, primitively burned and buried. The bones were dated across a thousand years of prehistory. The first analysis of all the cremated bones that were found at Stonehenge suggests that it's mainly adult males, adult men, that were buried there. So it's quite a distinctive group of people, and only probably very important people came there to be buried. The cremated remains suggest that the history books may need to be rewritten. Stonehenge could have been a temple of the dead, a place where ancient people came to commune with the spirits. And the 2009 discovery of a second circle called Blue Stonehenge appears to be further evidence that Stonehenge formed part of a huge ceremonial complex. Stonehenge clearly is a place of ceremony. It's a place where people gather together. I don't think they built it and then just abandoned it. And I'm sure that elaborate ceremonies went on there. It is these rituals and ceremonies that are key to understanding of people lost to history. Okay, so what do you think about Stonehenge? It's considered the solar temple and the temple of the dead. Because uh, I think they celebrate uh, or they sacrifice person, the people. Okay. Do you think that maybe UFOs existed? Aliens? In, in, my, in the point of my view, I don't think so. I, I think don't, it don't, they don't exist. Okay, class, uh, well, Anna, do you think UFOs existed? Exist? Yes. I think that, that, that the scientific or that archaeologist, uh, archaeologist said to that, it's a temple of death in the people who da, who they gain or who celebrate the ceremonies according to the the sacrifice of the human. Okay. For me, it's true. 
yes, the but, temple exists. <laughs> but, but my question was, do you think UFOs exist? Yes. Okay. What about you, Sarah? Do you think UFOs exist? Yes, I think so, because I don't alone in the universe. We are not alone. We are not alone. Okay. What about you, Moises and Jose? Do you guys think that UFOs exist? Yes, I, I think that they exist because of the universe is so enormous that we can't be the only one uh, species, species species in this enormous universe. I, I and, will... and not only one universe, there are millions of universes. Yes, there are millions of universes and we can't be the only one. Yes, it's true. Well, I, I, I think they do exist too. That is a just a statistic uh, situation that we can't be the only one. The, the only one planet that is uh, habitado, what is the word? Habitated. Habitated, yes. Okay. Yes, it's true. I mean, because there are some things that nobody can explain. Yes. The thing is that uh, we know just a little bit in this enormous universe. I think recently, um, hold on, let me see. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes. What do you see right now? What do you see? Easter Island. Okay. Recently I was reading, Easter Island are in South America, correct? Yes, in Chile. Chile, Chile. But they found, where was it? They found the, the same faces in Europe. And the incredible thing is that they are looking at each other at the same eye level. It's like they're looking at each other perfectly. No human can do that. Mm -hmm. Look at Machu Picchu. It's, it's very fascinating, but yes, I do think, I do think um, UFOs exist. And I think we are experiments. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we're an experiment to them. Okay, let's see the next video. It says, what happened? This is a, a, a philosophical topic. <laughs> yes, and it's, you know, it's good to, op to talk yes. with open mind. Yes. Because open there, is a, there is a lot of theories about it, so. It's up to you to believe or not. Yes, it's true. No, that's why it's good to with an open mind because some people, when they are a square mind, you know, no, uh, you know, that I don't know. Some people just say no, 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 no. Teacher, I, yes. I recommend Teacher. you with the, the book of Enoch. Of Enoch? El libro de Enoch. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good one. Okay. It's a, yeah, it's a controversial, like um, they, it explains uh, um, about the giants and like, uh, I don't know the, the, how many, how many years ago, but uh, he is playing something about it. Uh, I think um, he's going to to like. Okay, I heard of Enoch. He lived. He lived three hundred years or something. Correct. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, the if is playing the the book is playing uh, uh, a theory. How do you say teoria? A theory. Yeah. Um, it is playing the you know angels and came uh, came to earth. But excuse me, but are you talking about the book of Enoch in the Bible or a different book of Enoch? It's a different book. It's a different book. It's controversial. And it's, it's not the Bible. So it's a book in modern time. Yes. Oh, well, that's easy because whoever, I don't know who wrote the Bible, but whoever wrote the Bible did not think about technology, about, about the situations, about UFOs. So maybe if somebody now writes a modern, a modern book about the Bible. No, no, but it's, it's not, it's not modern book. It's a, uh, it's old book, but uh, it's not the Bible. It's different book. Oh. How old uh, is the book? In what year? Uh, uh, I think it's on the, in el tiempo de, de, de Jesús, antes de, de Jesús. Okay. Teacher, that, that book is part of the books that are called apocryphos. Because yes, they sir. are not part of the Bible. Of the okay. Bible. I'm going to read that, Evaristo. Teacher. Thank you. I like to read that. Hmm? Yeah. Teacher, teacher accor according to you, is they exist between us. Maybe, maybe because one time I remember I was I was speaking with a person that um, I believe in evolution and people believe in creation. And that's a very big controversy because evolution is proven, comprobado, with science. And evolution I, and creation is only theory. But one thing that is, is really interesting is that because people tell me, ¿El humano por qué ya no sigue evolucionando? Right? And, and that's a good question, you know. But every like evolution has a has a stop. For example, a tree. A tree is a seed. You plant the seed and the tree grows, 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 and that's the evolution and the tree stops, so human too. But to your question, the human now, we are robots. Because if, if you think, Umar Capazos, that's, that's something electrical. You know, like what I'm saying is like, now you can have an accident. And, uh, yes. And yeah, now you can have electrical hands now or, or you know, so if you think the evolution is like, man, maybe in the future, we, we really will be robots. Um, you know, Teacher, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I right? started to see that. Yes. I started to see that. Mm -hmm. Yes, now you can, I don't know, lose an eye and they can put an implant like Terminator. <laughs> Teacher, I, I have yes. something to say about this. Uh, yes. We are, we, we have uh, not stopped uh, de evolucionar, no hemos parado de evolucionar. I, ha, I, I have read something about this and it says that in like 200 or, or 400 years, uh, human beings, are not uh, going to have a, ¿cómo se llaman? La, las, las cordales, las que, las muelas cordales. Wisdom teeth, yes. Oh, yeah, that's. That. And, and it says because now we, we are, we don't have the, the necesidad, the needs. The necessity. The necessity to, My... to buy and, and, and and break the 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 la, la carne que comemos o, o, the o ser tan fuerte. 
Let me, yes. My yeah. wife, my wife is a dentist. And one time she explained me that because I asked her, se llama wisdom tooth. Okay, wisdom tooth. De sabiduría. I don't know why in English it's called <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> Um, and I asked her, why, what is the purpose of wisdom tooth? And she says, nothing. Mm -hmm. So why do we have them? Yes. Uh, to plastic surgery. Excuse me? Uh, plastic surgery. Plastic surgery. Cirugia plastica. Yes, they can change your face now. But you know, to what Moises was saying about the wisdom, tooth is one, teeth is plural. Um, yeah, and I asked, so why, why do we have wisdom teeth? I don't know. Maybe when we were monkeys, yes, yes. we used them and now we don't. So yes, in the future, maybe the human will not have, hu um, another, another part that we, we don't use is the appendix. The appendix. Yes. And Teacher, then, maybe in the future that human use the the intelligent artificial artificial intelligence, maybe for the development uh, as soon as possible, uh, became in a rebel human. <laughs> yes, I, th I think I think that's the end of humanity, when when artificial intelligence comes. Yes. Yeah, it's but. true. The system, the system is making up, making us less human being. Yes, it's true. That, that, so, that. so that's what I tell people. So that is the evolution. And uh, it's, it's, it's scary. And usually, only bad people get get have the power. You sure do. In the future, we will land on Mars. Well, actually, we have landed in Mars, not physically, but, but um, robots. Robots. So, yeah, maybe I think, I think in our lifetime, we will see that. Yes, maybe. In my son's lifetime, maybe that's going to be more normal. Se acuerdan la primera vez que la. El hombre en la luna. Everybody watching on TV. Well, you never know, see that, but people say that everybody was watching on TV. Like, and now, yeah, like, otro, otro. So imagine when when the first human goes to Mars. Our generation, we're going to be on TV. Like, yes. Teacher and Elon Musk is trying to to do a commercial travel to la, to the moon. <laughs> yes, it's true. Like a tourism uh, destiny, touristic yes. de destination. Destination. I I think in the future. Um, I don't know, like. Uh, Se va a encontrar un nuevo libro de la Biblia. Like, oh my God, está escondido, dice yo. And that book is going to... Based that book, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be based on, on technology. Uh, but I think he, he's already founded another book. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Because uh, I was reading that now... Teacher. the Teacher. Yes. I don't know what to believe anymore. That's the problem that people are having in this moment. And that's why the church, not every, every religion, they are worried because a lot of people are like changing their, their opinion because, you know, now it's contradictive, the Bible or reality. So um, they are, they are worried. Um, Teacher, maybe the confusion is for that the different kind of religions or maybe church uh, that people visit it uh, is for the reason many people um, became a controversial uh, theory about the the Catholic or the Christ 
Christianism. How do you say Christianism? Christianism. Christianism. Maybe it's for this reason both of the people um, became in a controversial situation. Yes. And, but the a specific sign is that if you believe according to the creation or or the God, maybe the people, the point of view is related to that. Yes. Oh, and you know, like, like what's going on right now in the world, I think it was a very good test of people's belief. Because I thought, sure. I, yes. I seen they have always used the Bible to their own advantage. Yes, but now they can't. When, when, when I say they, I, the government in the world. Okay, look, just before we change the, the subject, just think about one thing. The first world countries or the best countries in the world, Finland, Holland, la mayoría está en Europa. Holland, Finland, Sweden, and, and many of Europe think those countries are agnostics. Yes, they maybe, maybe they practice a religion, but it's not, schools don't practice religion. Uh, um, if you practice a religion, it's because you want to. But and now, they, like a tradition. Yes. And if you see the poorest countries in the world, like in Latin America, Africa, or the Middle East, are the most religious countries. So it's very ironic. I was reading one time a book that why all the big ministers and, and and maybe maybe it's true, but they go to the United States to get prepared to come back. I don't know. It's like they want they want us to stay slow. That's why that's that's why they go they go so, to the United States to get prepared. Yes. So I think is the bill. Bible is true. Okay. Yeah. No, no, yes, it's true. But like in El Salvador, El Salvador, I, we are, we are, um, decent que somos laicos, but we're not. In El Salvador, we are Catholics, no? Yeah. Uh, teacher. In, in general, uh, in general. Uh, mm -hmm. In this moment, I don't believe in the Bible. Oh, in the Bible, you don't. I. Okay. Uh -huh. Me too, me too, I understand you. No, but that's what I'm saying, uh, because like many people in the last years, it's, it's a big uh, change. It's a very, very big change. So in the future, maybe, I don't know. But, I, I can't imagine in the future what's going to happen. So it's very controversy, controversial. But yes, we will never stop the evolution. For good or bad. For good or bad. So in El Salvador we have, um, oh, did you see the news about that stupid picture in the fire of Santa Ana in the, in the market? Yes, yes. yes. A voodoo yes. doll. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, please, oh my God, people believe that. The, the holy web. You know, people tell me, vaya, mira, mira, una, un muñeco voodoo, quedó vivo. Wow. Really? <laughs> I, because I have a friend that she's very, extreme 
Pero yo creo que ya está en Steam. <laughs> because she's very extreme. And every time we always discuss. Y me gusta enojarla porque ella es un poco ofensiva cuando habla de eso. Entonces, vaya, mira, me dicen, no crees. ¿Ves? El diablo está presente. Wow. <laughs> Pero mira, en ese mercado venden imágenes de vírgenes y, y Cristo y todo. Entonces, pudo más ese muñeco que el... el Jesus and, y toda la gente que ahí tenía su rosario y todo. Ay, se enoja. <laughs> But I, yo lo hago por, solo por enojar. <laughs> But yes, it's, it's a crazy, I, I don't know what my son is prepared in the future. I don't know how the future will be for my son. Look at all the problems in this moment with the feminism or the uh, homosexuality, the abortion, and it's very controversial topics, very controversial. So I hope, I hope it's something good. I hope the evolution is good, okay? And that's what Stonehenge was. Stonehenge, there's no theory. Nobody understands the rocks. How? how they lifted the rocks, nobody understands. Because the rocks are very heavy. Like Machu Picchu, nobody understands how the rocks went up there. Imagine that, the, the pyramids. The pyramids of Egypt, that's perfection. ¿Usted vio esa película 2000? No, ¿cómo era? 2012. No, it was about el año cero, creo, I think. Wow, I forgot. Okay, let's look at the lady here. Let's see what the grammar is going to be about today. Hi, we're ready to play the next conversation, but we want you to be ready to answer these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time is it now? What does Will decide to do? Why can't Will contact Beth? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Very funny. Okay, so here we were talking about... Are these questions. Possibilities. And what do we use with possibilities? You asked Beth to be here. 
I wonder what happened. Give him a call. She might have. Do you see that where it says here she might have? Yes. Yes. So yes. when we when we use might, it's using a possibility. Yes. Okay, let me give you an example. Now, this is a, a, a possibility that comes from a conclusion. Okay, let's talk about something that's happening in El Salvador in this moment. Okay, now that the government has full power, what do you think might happen to Pijano? Go to the jail. <laughs> okay, yes, but maybe the government might. Ma might uh, send him to the jail. To jail. And I, I don't think only Quijano, I think. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I think Bukele yeah. has a black list. Why? Like, like Pablo yeah. Escobar. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Everybody who talked back, like, ah, oh, they call it, okay, okay. You are in my list. Teacher, why we are, why are we using might and, and not uh, must instead of might? Okay, very good. That's a very good question. I'm going to write something in the chat. I'm going to teach you the difference of all of them. Do you see that have to and must? Yes. Yes. Can you give me an example using have to? Do you have to run every day? Okay, good. Um, Evaristo, what is something you have to do tomorrow? I have to present the in contact. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see, Stara, what must you do tomorrow? I have. Your mic is off, Sara. Sara, uh, you are on sorry. mute. Okay. I have, I have to stay in, Class English every day. Okay, good. Si yo les pregunto en español, ¿qué es la diferencia de tengo que y debo de? What is the difference? Imagínense un. Pero oh, quiero, quiero que me digan una cosa. Se lo está preguntando un niño o niña de 10 años. Tío, tía, mamá, papá, me preguntaron en la escuela que tengo que saber la diferencia de tengo que y debo que. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Tengo ah, es una obligación. Okay. Y debo es algo, como una responsabilidad. Ok. ¿Somebody else? Good. Thank you, Ana. You're welcome. Mods hmm? can be used in business and have to be using in, in some place that you're studying? Um, not really. The tool you can use everywhere. So that's good that too. The have to is like an advice and must is like an obligation. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a good point. Teacher, uh, I think uh, have to is a general obligation and must is a specific obligation. Okay, what is the difference between a general obligation and a specific obligation? Okay, when you say, uh, when, uh, let me see. Uh, 
when Moisés Carrillo said that uh, I have to run. Okay, I have to run. Uh, in a specific obligation is when the doctor said that, when the doctor said that you must run because uh, for your health or you must take a uh, medication, it's a specific obligation for, for, for the health or... Okay, you, you have a point there. Okay, look. La razón que les dije eso de un niño de 10 años, porque a mí así me gusta explicar. No les ha pasado que cuando ustedes explican algo a un niño y le dice, ok, entendés y se quedan. Ajá. Uh -huh. And they don't understand. Ok, look. Must and have to. The two are obligations. Okay? Yes? Yes. 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 Um, the difference. The difference. Must is legal obligation. Una obligación legal. Yes. Example. If you are over 18 in El Salvador, you must have a DUI. Que lo tengan, no lo tienen, lo perdieron, it's no problem, but you must have one. Because it's a legal obligation, right? Okay. Okay. If you have a car, if you drive in El Salvador, you have to. They must, must to you listen. Must have, to. You must have. Okay. You, must, you must have a license. It's a license driver. Driver's license. Okay, the two are correct. You have you have to have a driver's license, or you must have a driver's license. Pero como les digo, the difference is must is legal. Yes. Yes, clear. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, puede decir you have to, you must, pero cuando ya hay cosas tonos legales, ahí there's a difference. You must. Por ejemplo, creen que uh, al pobre papá que lo, no pobre papá, el pobre maestro que lo topó la mamá en la procuraduría para pagar, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Qué es lo que pagan? La pensión alimenticia. Uh -huh. He must pay or he has to pay. He must pay. He must, he must pay. pay. Ahí en inglés alguien va a decir, okay, imagine, okay, Moisés, you must pay you, uh, your wife or your ex-wife $500 a month. Yeah. Pero si digo, you have to pay, ah, okay, tengo que, pero no significa... <laughs> No debo. Ah, no if debo. You, if you run a, a Yo business, tengo que small, lo dijo debo de. Huh? If you run a small business or a contribuyente, if you are a contribuyente, you must pay income tax. Very no. good. Como todo buen contador, good, Evaristo. Yes. No, but it's true. It's, it's legal. Okay. So that is the difference between I have to and I must. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. The second, la segunda. Must, también una autoridad. Uh, Evaristos gave a good example. The doctor, the doctor is authority. So Evaristo, you must stop smoking or you will die. Yes. What is authority? Authority is your mother, your father, your boss, your teacher. Well, so if you're in a classroom, the authority is the teacher. Moises, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. So um, your husband. 
No, no exactly, no always. Mentira, estoy esperando. Mentira. El esposo es la autoridad. No. Cuando no, no está la esposa, dicen. Yeah. Okay, remember, remember, remember when when you were little and mamá, I'm going to a party. Okay, you must be here at 10 or don't come back. That's authority. That's autoridad. Okay? Yeah. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Cuando usted le dice you must a alguien, se lo está diciendo con algún tono de autoridad. Ya sea autoridad superior, autoridad como amigo o algo. Como, oh man, I'm very sick. <laughs> hey, look, you must go to the hospital. Imagine I am, I am your supervisor. You must be here tomorrow at seven in the morning. Okay, that's the difference. Okay. So listen, um, Sara. Sara, okay. I have to pay the electricity bill or I must? Pay the I must too. Pay the building. Really? I must or I have to? Uh, Jose? I must. You must. I must. Okay. Jose Ramirez, you must pay the electricity bill or you have to? Hey, I, have. I have to. Why pay have to? Because if I don't pay the electricity, they can put it and don't happen something if you pay the in the next month. I'm sorry, please, please repeat. I'm sorry, I can't. I hear you very. Um, sorry that I, okay. I have a problem with the earphone in and, and hurt no, my, my no, ear. I can hear you fine. Go ahead, but repeat. Yeah, I I think that it's a, it can be have to because it, it doesn't uh, the hard consequences. Yes, very good. Yes, Sara, in this case, it's have to. Why? Because um, it's not a legal obligation. Or for example, if you don't pay, if you don't pay it, okay, they cut your electricity, that's it. But you will not be arrested. Mm -hmm. It's your obligation, teacher. I mean, yes, it's an obligation, yes. But si no lo hace, you know. Ahora, es como lo que le dije, pagar, ¿cómo se llama lo? Pagar a la procuraduría. Access, no. It's... La pensión alimenticia. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso no es I have to. Eso es I must. Because the cause, yes, ya es legal. Y cuando es legal, ¿cuál es el consequence? The prison. Yes, you go to prison. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, pero vuelvo y, re y le repito, se puede usar los dos. Se puede usar have to and must. Teacher. Pero must es un tono legal y un tono autoritario. That's the difference. Okay. It depends on the context of the, yes. the word used. Yes. Imagine I am a bartender. Y viene una señorita de, uh, hi, I want a, a tequila. Okay, how old are you? 17. Oh, I'm sorry. Ahí que le digo, I'm sorry. You have to be 18 um, or you must be 18. You, you must, must be. be. Yes. Alguien ha viajado a Estados Unidos. No. Uh, Evaristo, mm -hmm. remember, no sé si alguna vez entró a un bar, pero ahí decía, you must be over 21, or you must be. You must be over 21. Ajá, yes. pero si no está ahí, todos dicen you must be, no, ninguno dice you have to. No, you must be. You must uh -huh. be. 
How old are you? 17. No, you have, okay, Katie dice you have to. No, you say you must. Y hay gente que lo usa como, oh. yes, you must be. That is the difference. Okay. All right. So, oh man, we finished the class. Me recuerdan que el lunes vamos a seguir con esto antes de, porque la, por la pregunta de Moisés, le voy a enseñar la diferencia de can, could, will, y going to, que es otra, y might. Might. Right. Okay. Because might is a possibility. Algo que es una asumo. Imagine. Imagine today uh, we have a big party and we drink and drink and drink. Except Jose Ramirez drank too much. And everybody, we went home, but Jose Ramirez, example, okay, he stayed, he continued in the party. The next day at work, so llegamos menos Jose Ramirez. What happened to Jose? What happened to Jose? ¿Qué creen que van a decir todos? He no. might still be Continuous sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he might be sleeping. Y ahí empiezan los chambres, ¿vale? Los chambres. Si ayer andaban. Es la primera regla que le doy cuando tengo alumnos jóvenes que están empezando a trabajar. No se den colores en fiestas, señores. <laughs> Don't go. That is a good advice. Yes. One of the best. Yes. You are a young man. Yes. I tell him, remember, in your work, you will have maybe good co workers, but never good friends. Yes, yes sir. Because right. it, if you party, if you have a good night, yeah, everything cool. But the next day, people will talk, wow, did you see Sara yesterday? Man, he likes to drink and yeah, pies on those chambers, right? <laughs> yeah, so I always tell people, hey, in the Christmas party, don't drink. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From personal experience, when I was very young, I, I did many stupid things. That... <laughs> you have regret. Oh, yes, of course. But you know, that's how you learn. So um, that's why, that's where might comes from because we really don't know what happened, but we're positive that it's because of that. Yes, like, like the next day at six in the morning, hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, hey, Jose. He might still be sleeping, man, because yesterday, <laughs> Yesterday, he continued. He drank a lot. Yeah, and he stayed. He stayed and he continued. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to have a pregunta, ¿qué pasó? No, you know, Jose. We would say, Jose, stop. But no, he said, no, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Y nada que Jose está atrás. Oh, hey, Jose, how are you? <laughs> That's a backstabber. Así se llama, stab, stab es cuchillar. Stab. Stabber. Stabber. Yes. If you don't have a backstabber friend, he's not your friend. <laughs> todo, todo trabajo hay un backstabber. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Remember, we will continue with, with can, could, will, would. Should okay. okay. You too. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.